All right, in this video, we're going to talk about tags and how you can use them to group items um, by subject or for other purposes um, beyond the folder method, which is over here. So, for instance, if I wanted to see everything that was on Abraham the Patriarch in this folder, I can just click, you know, that and I see that there's one. Um, if I unclick it, it brings it all back. Uh, if I want to see everything in my library on a particular item, Abraham the Biblical Patriarch, Patriarch, I could see all of those too. So uh, this is a great way for you to, you know, if you've already downloaded something, a good way for you to go ahead and see uh, what's there if you come back to it later and, and can't remember. Um, most tags are pre-populated when you import something in from a database. So for instance, when you import from GoSearch, all the subject headings that are brought in with, um, with that particular item um, are added to the tag field. So if I click on covenant conditionality and I and I want to see the tags, I can click tags and I see all of the, um, the um, tags that are connected with that. I see this one called peer reviewed. That's just a way to let them know this is a scholarly journal. I'm going to take that one off just by clicking the minus symbol. If I want to add one, I can click add. And so let's say I wanted to add this to my introdu introduction, if I want to deal with this in my introduction. Uh, this is a helpful way that I found to use tags, and that is that I create a tag called introduction. And then I can even do that with my um, with my with my notes as well by clicking tags and adding introduction to that tag as well and actually hit enter when you do that and so see I now have introduction in my tag so if I want to come in and see what are the things that I know I want to interact with in my introduction or in my first point I can just type in introduction and there's my introduction tag click on that and now the two items that uh, that I would use um, during my introduction are found there. Okay, that's it for tags.